Hey welcome guys, in this video I am going to show you the two different ways to enable VTX on your computer. But before we go for the actual part, let me tell you very briefly that what is VTX and why do we need this. VTX means Intel Virtualization Technology. In the Intel processor, it is referred to as VTX, but in case of AMD processors, we call it AMD V. Simply, it helps to run multiple operating systems on a computer simultaneously. It is required in order to emulate Android apps. Emulators like Bluestacks, Game Loops, LG Players, they all need VTX for better performance. Simply, when they use more than one core of your processor, they need VTX enabled. Moreover, any virtual machine software will need this technology, like VMware or VirtualBox. Now let me show you how to check if the VTX of your computer is already enabled or disabled. There are few ways to check it out. Just right click on an empty space of your taskbar. Go to Task Manager. Here go to Performance tab. Then click on CPU. And you will find if it is enabled or disabled in your computer. Well, if it is disabled, there are two ways to enable it, as I told you before. Now go to Settings from your Start menu, then Update and Security. Navigate to Recovery. And now click on Restart Now under the Advanced Startup Settings. And your PC will restart immediately. Sorry guys, the screen recording option doesn't work here. And currently I don't have any camera setup. So I am recording it with my mobile phone on hand and it's quite shaky. So pardon me for your viewing disturbance. Now click on troubleshoot, then advanced options and click to enter UEFI firmware setting. If you don't find these settings here, then your motherboard of your computer doesn't support UEFI settings. But you need not to worry, you will get your job done by my second way. Anyways, now click on Restart. Well guys, we are already in our BIOS setup. I am using a Asus laptop, so the BIOS here looks like this. In different laptops and different BIOS versions, it may look slightly different. Now go to Advanced Mode. The VTX in Asus, you will find it Advanced Menu. But in your case, it may be in different place. You just have to find it. In most cases, it may be located in boot menu, security, or in advanced option. Now enable the VTX here, and press F10 to save it, and click OK. It will restart and your VTX will be on. And those who doesn't have UEFI, you need to search BIOS key for your branch, or laptop model, or motherboard model, if you don't know it yet. You can see, for my ASUS VivoBook, BIOS key is F2. In most cases, it would be F2, FH or ESC. Now restart your PC. And press the BIOS key just before the logo appears. And you can see, we are already in BIOS setup. Now follow the steps just like before. Find your VTX and enable it. Press F10 to save it and click on OK. It will restart and your VTX will be on. Well guys, if you face any difficulty to enter your BIOS setup, let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you out. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned.